What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. So lately I've been doing a lot of buying in different challenges at stores. Well, I wanna go ahead and try to take some of my sneakers or one of my more expensive sneakers and turn that into maybe 10 sneakers. So what we're doing today, we're taking a sneaker and we're gonna try to trade it and trade up a little bit. I have a couple different sneakers in mind that I wanna try and mainly the Supreme Dunks. I have the green Supreme Dumps with around $2,000 to $2,300. Then I have the orange Supreme Dumps, which I think are, I keep saying dumps. Dunks that are, it's hard to value these around $1,500 to $2,500. Also have pairs like these, but I don't think they want them. I've got the Chunky Dunkies. I think we're gonna go with these two down here, the Supreme Dunks, and try to turn that into 10 different sneakers. So we're gonna be heading to a sneaker store today. Now I do gotta show you guys something. I did recently just buy another car. Bam, we have my 2003 E46 M3. Now, if you guys are new here, this is my warehouse. We have the racing sim and we have the newest addition to the garage, which is an Amola Red six-speed manual E46 M3. More videos coming on my second channel about this, but that's what we're taking today. Cameron and Nick hasn't seen it yet, so we're surprising with it. Let's grab our shoes, let's grab our boxes and head to a store and hopefully come back with 10 sneakers in exchange for one of mine. So I'm actually gonna bring these two also because I haven't worn them yet and I don't know, I feel like I might not wear them. So Union Ones, Off-White, Air Force Ones, maybe these will work. So we just made it over. We're gonna grab the shoes and head over there. We got a couple in the back here. Let's see what we can get. We just wanted to give them a selection so that uh, we can give them options. All right guys, so we made it in. We're gonna go ahead, show him some of the shoes that we brought and then maybe off camera discuss what which one he thinks will be best for us to get the most out of um, from what we brought. So I already texted him about a few. We have obviously the Supreme Dunk size 11. I actually really like those. Another one here is a, a brand new Off-White Air Force One and a 10. This is a, uh, this is a pretty good shoe as well. Value on those have been going up. The third is a green Nike SB Dunk. This is the uh, Supremes, the newest ones. And uh, this is, I feel like this is the most expensive colorway, I believe. Is green the most expensive? Yeah, I think it's green. green. Yeah, green. And then the fourth is just a pair of Union Jordan ones. These have shot up so much in value. I just don't really see myself wearing them because they're 10 and a half and I need at least an 11 or an 11 and a half to wear these. So. We're gonna have him kind of see which one he thinks is worth the most for us to do to get the most sneakers in trade because that's our goal to get, you know, like 10 shoes. So we'll see what he thinks. Or the one that you would probably give more in trade credit for. Probably the Union. The Union, okay. Yeah. So we're trying to work around like 2,000 in trade credit to try to get maximize uh, the amount of shoes that we have. So I wanna go for more recent releases. Like we could definitely get 20 of like, you know, the 100 and under shoes. But like, I really wanna try to get, you know, some of the more recent stuff, stuff that I don't have, including, um, I really want some of the new Shadow 2.0s, hopefully some around my size. Now I'm not gonna be picky in my size, for this, I'm gonna try, you know, like it's not a big deal if it's not my size, because I wanna just maximize. But if I can, I will, like right here, these. So we got these, 275, that's above. Obviously we wanna like balance out at 200 each. We'll have to go lower for another one, but this is one that I think I should get because it's newer. Uh, they got a lot of dunks. This is gonna be tough because we're trying to maximize. These, oh, this is my size. These are fire. Nick went ahead and got these. These are at 350 though. So far, look, we're getting there. So I'm gonna kind of, we're gonna do a time lapse of me kind of going through, looking at the shoes, seeing what we can work for prices and uh, kind of work it to where we get the most out. All right, here are some of the shoes. We're not gonna show you all of them. There's a couple over there that aren't wrapped up but we came up with a deal. I'm pretty happy with it. We're gonna have a nice stack of shoes, so we gotta go ahead and uh, make sure that all the pricing's right and make sure this all lines up.
All right, guys, so we got the final thing on the counter. We have the Jordan 1 Unions. This is like the best colorway. I've taken many L's on these. I just don't see myself wearing them. They're a little bit small, so this is the pair that he picked. And these are all the shoes that we came up with. You obviously can't see them all now. Con, are you uh, you happy or okay with this trade? Yeah, definitely. I'm happy for what I got. Union ones. You, know, you can't go wrong with these. these are, this is such a good colorway. Yeah, I don't know why I'd be getting a bunch of these, but at the end, they're all gone. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna take these home. We're gonna wait to show you guys because it's more fun to make you guys wait, show you all the breakdown and see uh, which pair you guys would like better if you'd rather have these or these. We'll see. All right, guys, I gotta hop in here and remind you about the Amam and Yer Jordan 3 giveaway that is going on right now on my Instagram. It's just a giveaway with me. Decide I wanna give back on a fire pair of kicks that are coming out. So go ahead, head over to my Instagram if you didn't see that already. The rules for it are very simple. You have to one, subscribe to my YouTube, and then two, follow my Instagram, and then three, comment on that post, tagging two friends, and that is it. And that giveaway is gonna be ending in a few weeks. The date will be up on the screen, so don't miss out on that. I wanted to remind you, free shoe. Let's go ahead and start with the first shoe here, which is going to be the Jordan 3 Unite. Now, they had these at $140 with no box. Now, the prices that you guys are going to see here they're not going to be exactly representative of the full total because they worked a little bit of a deal out on some of them but size 10 and a half i can wear these this is a unite 140 i do not think it's a bad deal i'm seeing them used on goat for 170 so that's a pretty solid deal there i do have a quite of a stench to them of i don't know what but that was the first pair there this is one that was under the 200 we obviously tried to keep it around like 200 a piece so we're going to put them to the side as they go the unites those are ones that i didn't really go for they're not reselling much brand new they're going for like 250 retails i think around 220 so not much resell there especially after tax that was the first no box pair and the second no box pair which they gave us for a hundred bucks was the yeezy 350 v2 sesame right here in my size as well size 10 and a half I, this is just a this is a shoe that like nick wears every time we film it's super comfortable they're not the most comfortable for me because of how my feet are but for a hundred bucks you cannot beat the sesame there's no way look at the bottoms those are super clean for a hundred bucks they're gonna they're having them listed at 150 but worked out the deal and uh i'm really happy with that so just these two alone like that's solid and that's the no boxes so again jordan one union all of these so i'm gonna go for a little bit more current of a sneaker that has come out and uh, one that i've been looking for this is a women's nike dunk high and this is called the football gray now they have these at 230 this is a really clean colorway i've been looking for these in my size but it is hard to come by because it's a women's sizing and mine was like on the top end of it but this is a men's 9.5 or a women's 11 but super clean colorway they've been coming out with so many dunk highs the quality is not that great on them but they had them at 230 so we'll kind of tally that up and you'll see kind of what we had as far as the value that the store had compared to like what the actual value was and thank you again to con and hype for doing this and doing this trade because you know i don't know if they'd rather have more sneakers rather than that one but it's really cool for them to be able to do this with us number three that was a more recent in the past couple months and that's what i tried to stick to which you'll see in a lot of these other pairs we have a pair that actually just came out last week the next is going to be an air max 90 st patrick's um i didn't i just saw these and the price was good so i grabbed them i didn't even know these were released you have kind of like the uh the St. Patrick's Day four leaf clovers on there. The crazy green Air Max 90s are nice. This is a size nine and a half and they had these at 180. That's what they were listed at. Air Max 90 is a classic silhouette. And this is a very, this is a hard to wear colorway because it is specifically for like St. Patrick's Day or like maybe your favorite football or basketball team or something is all green. This could be, you know, good. But I thought for 180, it was good. I needed to get some in there under uh, 200 to kind of even everything out. For so far, guys, I feel like we came out on top on this. I don't want to like, I don't know. I mean, we came on top. Oh, this one's like brand new. Maybe not as brand new, a Jordan 1. And this Jordan 1 is reminiscent of another colorway. Now this Jordan 1 right here was going for 275, one of the first ones that I grabbed, and that is the new Jordan 1 Shadow. A new rendition of the original Shadow. You know we've had a couple pairs here on this channel. The materials are pretty good, and eh, they're all right. Reselling is not too much. I think it's just a widely released sneaker. This is a size 12, they only had a size 10 and a 12, so I'm kind of sad they didn't have my size in the middle, so I don't know how much, I, I mean, I can't wear these, they're too big. But to get a sneaker that has released so very recently within the past month, I think it's a very solid, very solid choice. This is a clean one. This is one that everybody can wear. It's like you can wear it with black, white, blue, green, whatever, because it is so simple in the colors. And the, the original shadows, I obviously like better. It's a lot better. It's like a really nice leather, but this is a, a clean shoe nonetheless. For 275, I'm glad we were able to get something newer. There's one more in here that's fire. So this is a, this next one, you might be able to see. This is the, what are these called again? The Vapor Street. 
I never was a huge fan of these. Um, I've had a couple pairs. I believe oh, they're I believe they're used, but they look brand new because they saw the tags on them and everything. So they had these at 170, retails 190. It's just a very interesting kind of like sneaker because look at the spikes. Look how weird that is. It's like you can feel those when you walk. Yeah, they're they're used a little bit, but there's so many crazy off whites. You have like the pokey heel here. I don't know, not my favorite, but it, it kind of worked out because it was 170 and it was off white and more along the lines of like, I just, I wanted to fill a gap and it was under 200. So I thought that'd be good and not my favorite. Reselling is not too crazy, but next up we have a little bit more of like a popular Jordan 1 or a less popular Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. So Jordan 1 Zooms, I have a couple of them. There's one over there. It's weird kind of technology, but uh, when you pull these out, you can see a really clean green colorway, a little bit better green than those St. Patrick's Day. They're super soft. Like the materials are very like pliable, I guess. They're very movable. It's kind of like a canvas material here. The bottom has like the green there for the zoom. And uh, I, this is a very clean colorway. This is a size men's eight, and they had the men's eight at 200 bucks. So this is a more recent, uh, I believe this came out in the past few weeks, and I mean, it's clean. Zooms are not like the most popular because they're not like leather. They did come out with some leather zooms and the quality not it. But I assume this is to be a more comfortable sneaker, and I could see that just because of like, the materials are like super soft. That is sneaker number seven. Yeah, seven. No, eight, that's eight. Missing one. I think I left one in the car, hold on. All right, so I definitely left one in the car. This is actually my size, but I didn't really want to get this one. I've had two pairs of them already. It's a recent release. It's the bacon, You're going for about 200 bucks, and it's a hard to wear colorway. It's a very specific colorway. The person who bought them originally got them from StockX. I was just about to dock somebody's house. Right there, 276. I ended up paying, I got them for 200, which I think it was less. They added a price adjustment, so I wonder what they had them at before. Before 200, they had them listed at 250, so. I think we got pretty solid on that. And we have, I'm saying the last one is a banger. I, I can't wait, I hope it fits me. We have a Yeezy Quantum as number nine. These were 180. These aren't selling well. Retail on these is I believe 200. I believe these are selling right at retail and they're selling them for under retail now. It's it's the Quantum, it's a very odd shoe. This is a smaller size too. This is a very small size. I, I wouldn't wear these. I've got had a couple pairs and I just end up selling them because it's not my favorite. They're big on me and I don't, I don't, there's no feel from these for me. There's nothing that's like, ooh, I want these. All right, lastly, the banger. These were 350. Oh, these better fit me. This is like one of the more recent dunks. You can tell it's a Nike SB dunk. And it is the Stingwaters. Sheesh. Dang, I'm so glad we got these. Check this out. You got like the little Nike swoosh here, sting water, and it falls off the end. You can see this is like the crazy materials. The tongue is like this, weird like it's got like a, a clear plastic on it there's a zipper and on the inside it says empty your mind it says empty your mind and then there's like a stash pocket for i wonder what they're saying to put in there and there's a mushroom on the other one stash pocket you can put whatever in there the insole is actually kind of cool as well it's glued in i don't want to take it off but you can see it's like a green color and you have like corduroy around here and then you have right there plant emo plan emoji and then this one says with eyes so plan emoji with eyes maybe all right let's true test these i really don't think these are gonna fit sb dunks are hard for me to wear my left foot is wider than my right these don't step on me i'm trying to grow it says in there ah yeah they're tight man they look so good though those look so good oh my they, i love these maybe i need like an 11 and a half 12 but this is my top pick out of all of them. So did I take a W or an L with all these shoes here for the Jordan 1 Unions, W or L? I think it's a W. I mean, if he, I think he'll be happy with the sneaker that he got as well because that's a really good sneaker, but I feel like this is a W for me in the variety that I got. And which would you guys rather have, the Unions or these 10 shoes? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.